Uh, in a word. Yep. I feel Vaughn did indeed direct the Argyle motion picture. Yeah, don't believe what the media and wikipedia.com have to say about it. It was your boy. Brother, that shoe was gnarly. The sauce was epic random, as the as the Gen Ziggy Stardust like to say. We had the marzipan horn dog himself, Sam Rockwell, on set and upset. Pete Davidson. Uh, was not on set. He had that BDE, but we had that BDH, Bryce Dallas Hawa. She was real cool, man. Next up, we had Dua Lipa as LaGrange. LaGrange! I realized on the 13 and a half the day of shooting that she kind of looks like Joe Jonas, but in a way where Joe Jonas is also a beautiful woman. There was also Henry Cavill. Yeah, he, uh... Sorry, I'm just gonna let the police pass before they catch the Ohio State killer. They're a little late. Cause we had Henry Cavill on set, baby. He's kind of part of a trio of men that can make women feel the way men feel when we see a pair of anime breasts. Yeah, he was the man god, you know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect to the other males in the world, but... It's rare that you can make a queen go ooh woo. I did say it was a trio. The other two men in this trio, just gods of sexual charisma. I'm talking Idris Elba and Jack Black, of course. Also on the film, we had Brian Cranston and Samuel L. Jackson. They kind of look like the guys who invented intercourse. Not like with each other, but like they were just, you know, like, like toiling away in a lab, you know, until they just, just synthesize that little puppy. Just two gods of man. I mean, if there's a tape, I'd watch it. Riley, could you pull that? All I'll say about Ariana DeBose. She did that thing, you know? I don't care who knows this. John Cena is terrible to work with. I didn't see that man show up to work once. They told me, dude, that he was there every day. I didn't see diddly squat, boy. Last but not least, we had uh, Catherine O'Hara. She's my niece. It was just good to get the family working. 